As we're all aware by now, there are serious problems with the voter registration process in America. Aside from the obvious concerns surrounding the voting machines themselves, I want to show you some additional problems with the system. Now, I moved from New Mexico to Arizona in May of 2014. Prior to that, I was a registered Republican in New Mexico. When I applied for my Arizona driver's license, I also registered as a third party voter here in Phoenix and had to surrender my New Mexico driver's license. This implied two important facts I want to share with you. Number one, motor vehicle and voter databases are cross-referenced. Number two, voter registration databases are not being updated to reflect people who have physically moved out of state, creating an inflation of the number of registered voters in any given state, in this case, New Mexico. This is one of several solicitations I received mailed to my Phoenix residents from the Republican Party in New Mexico to vote early. Now, why is this significant? I'm still registered to vote in New Mexico as well as in Arizona. For a fee, anyone can request a list of registered voters from the Secretary of State's office, complete with party affiliation and registration status, address, etc. So the question is, can my Arizona vote for Trump be canceled out by a New Mexico vote for Clinton in the national elections? It would certainly seem that way as I'm on the voting rosters in both states. Now, I worked on a New Mexico congressional campaign in Las Cruces in 2002 to document the absolute lack of verification in the voter registration process. I registered Cleo my Doberman Pinscher as a Democrat. Of course, I had to lie about her age, as in this photo from 2003, she was only 18 months old. Not only did I receive a voter registration card for her in the mail, in 2006, I received an early vote reminder for her in the mail, along with an early voting ballot from the Doña Ana County Clerk's Office. This is a problem. We now not only have to worry about illegals and dead people voting, as well as people voting early and often, but apparently we have to be concerned about how our pets vote as well.